What's up you guys, it's Eric here. I'm gonna be starting a drift boat build here pretty quick. Um, it is gonna be based off of the Clark Fork uh, drift boat. It is a 14 uh, foot long boat with the 62 inch uh, beam and then a 48 inch uh, floor. So uh, we'll be making it out of a quarter inch of Baltic birch um, plywood. Uh, in the home center that is four by eight you can make it out of other wood uh, plywood like a kume um, but I didn't feel like spending that much so and I think that the the birch uh, look of the plywood will be nicer looking in my mind than the kume so um, I've taken uh, the plans um, for the boat and done a lot of modifications and tweaking to it to what I want so here I'll go through and uh, show you guys some of them so here's the the look of uh, the boat that I will be um, building I'm looking down on it I um, it is very similar like I stated to the uh, Clark Fork uh, drift boat um, plans that I bought um, I'll include a link in the description to the plan so you can look at them if you'd like um, one of the big differences or the first difference is the uh, bow of the boat in the plans it has the bow of the boat just having a, a sealed bulkhead um, but with mine I'm gonna be uh, making it look more I would say like a traditional uh, drift boat and having the the knee braces for the angler in the front um, to support against another or big change that I am going to be doing is kind of this area right in here on the the Clark Fork Drifter it more so just has a piece of wood on right here and right here and then a shelf that the the benches are going to be sitting on for the rower and the the front angler but with this I'm gonna uh, make it more of a bulkhead storage area and instead of just having a flat piece of wood across um, for the seat, I am actually going to be building uh, some storage areas um, that will be able to uh, fold up and be on hinges. So there will be some uh, storage underneath the seats as well to utilize that. Um, also right here, um, you'll see in a different view, but there will be an opening. There will be a storage area on each side. And then right here... And right here are going to be um, areas I'm going to do a uh, pour in um, foam for flotation. Um, and then kind of a similar thing that I am going to do compared to the original is I'm going to have a bulkhead area uh, back here um, for storage as well. Um, I'm going to be including um, a rope chase for my uh, anchor rope to run through nicely so it's not caught up on the floor. So um, then also gonna be uh, changing up with the, where the oar locks are, gonna do a little bit different um, setup for that as well than the plan. So we'll go to the next one. So this is kind of the side view that I'm gonna be doing. Again, we got the, the knee brace right here and then a, a storage area below it and then here's that opening um, that I had talked about in kind of the side bulkhead for storage and then again right here and right here that area is gonna be uh, for foam flotation foam foam to be filled in right there um, this area right here and this right here are recessed areas that are gonna have t-track that the uh, aluminum t-track that the seats are gonna um, sit on and make it be adjustable for the rower and the fisherman. Um, right here is the mounting point for the the anchor or the foot anchor release um, that I bought. And then again, here's the PVC or C PVC piece of pipe that I'm gonna um, put in to let the rope run through. Um, then we got the the bulkhead here, and then the uh, anchor arm right there so just a couple of cut throughs of different things and some measurements so uh, this will be the the back um, 
bulkhead. This will be the 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 seat storage area, the front bulkhead, and then here's just a closer up of that um, side bulkhead. And then here's kind of some plans that I have drawn up for the seats. So one thing that I should point out that I'm going to add um, that the original plans don't have is uh, drain plug holes. Um, so I'm going to have two of those. Um, I'm going to have drain plugs uh, or uh, drift boat drain plugs um, and I'm going to be putting them um, inside of a, a bronze silicone bushing so they it has a nice and I'll epoxy the bushing in so it has a nice way for water to get out and looks nice and clean and everything um, another difference that this boat will have is that the bottom is going to be um, I'm going to be getting some some type of plastic some eighth inch um, to make it slick for sliding it on off the trailer and if I need to over land or trees or anything they have uh, epoxy with graphite mixed into it on the plans but I'm just kind of skeptical about that I'm sure it works but I'm just gonna do the the plastic um, and epoxy that just to uh, add some more uh, slickness in my mind to it from moving it around so so I have already started uh, cutting out um, some of the larger uh, pieces for the boat. I have the, the sides, the floor, and the transom already cut out. Now, uh, this is a, a stitch and glue uh, boat, so you're taking plywood. You're uh, most likely having to do a scarf joint, um, which is a type of uh, joint where it's overlapping. Um, and gluing two pieces of plywood together or even wood together just to provide more uh, glue surface area than just doing a butt joint which is not that strong at all um, so you'll be I'll be using um, zip ties or cable ties um, through holes that I will be drilling um, and bringing it all uh, together and then um, you'll eventually take uh, it's called peanut, or I guess you would call it peanut butter epoxy. It's where you um, take your uh, whatever epoxy you use and then mix in some sawdust, or you can also use some type of filler um, to make a peanut butter type epoxy. And that will, you apply that to the seams of the boat for, or where the plywood meets together, and that's what's going to give you your strength in the boat. Um, along with uh, fiberglass as well so so now you guys know kind of what I'm gonna be doing here uh, probably the next thing or the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is uh, bringing up the pieces that I've already cut out the the side the side the two side pieces the bottom and the transom out to the shop and start doing some of the layout um, for them for around the bulkheads and start kind of getting an idea of what the actual sizes of uh, those bulkhead pieces are going to be um, since that's going to be just kind of figuring it out on the fly. I have general dimensions of where I want them to be um, on the bottom but the width and the height and all that I'm not completely sure yet. kind of all depends on what the actual dimensions are of the boat. So I'll be doing that and start stitching it together. So see you next time guys.